What fun and frolics have we got lined up for today, then, chaps? Yeah. Stand by for action. Now for something completely different. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to this week's show. I'm Dan Berry and today we're joined by Jane and Amanda. Hello lovely ladies. Hi. Yeah. So nice of you to uh, come on here. It's nice to see you. Thank you. So Thank you. Got... Five things we like, five things about modern life that we like, and five things about modern life that we don't like. Okay. Right. Big world we live in, so. Um, I know one. Okay. Straight away. Mm -hmm. I like. Well, I, this is I like and I don't like together. So can I double count them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. I like technology, but I don't like technology. I'm the same. So I like technology because I like the access to things. So, for example, today, we're selling our car. Mm -hmm. And technology is amazing because we've put it on auto trade. Mm -hmm. Straight on through the app. And it's for sale within about 10 minutes. Just take a photograph of the car, upload it, dish is on. So you could sell it within hours. Mm -hmm. But then I don't like, so that's the upside, but I don't like it. So I like the speed and availability, availability and then it's rapid response, it's all in your hands, etc., etc. But I don't like it because everyone's just stopped looking up, haven't they? They're all yeah. looking mm -hmm. down. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, do, I get your point. I do get your point. No one's looking up at <laughs> all. Nobody makes eye contact anymore. Everyone's like, like this. <laughs> Aren't they? Where are no, they? I do. Yeah. do you think? Yeah, yeah, I do. I think yeah, it doesn't make you lazy. And I think maybe you can lose, for some people, losing social skills and how to speak. You know, and... Um, what I mean is like for face to face things. We don't get any warmth, do you? No. So you just don't get the warmth from anybody anymore because they don't actually sort of make eye contact. They sort of look down and look around and look down. Or encourage lazy. I know it's good to have communication, but if you can Skype someone and things like that and not, not bother seeing them, then, you know, I know sometimes there's a purpose. Mm. Well, Skype's quite good because if you've got um, someone you haven't seen for a while, I know, or something like, or something like FaceTime, where we're just talking to someone I haven't seen for a while. That's quite it's good. It's alright, if you're local, you can get in a car mm. and go and see them. Yeah. And that is brilliant, that's a really good example of FaceTime, because for example, like Skype is amazing. Yeah, but Skype needs credit. Skype, can't you? Skype, you need to pay, Skype, you need like credit on a phone, but with FaceTime, it doesn't cost you anything. You just, you just need to be on the same wavelength. Well, you uh, both need to be on an iPhone. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, um, Apple technology, really. Like. There's going to be more I don't like than I do like. The thing I don't like is um, people. <laughs> people are so rude now. All the manners have gone. Yeah. Haven't they? Mm -hmm. They're all miserable and and young people, particularly, I think, are just all I want it now. The yeah, oh, I want it now generation. Yeah. And there's no patience anymore. anymore. Yeah. So that's why I don't like. I don't like all this sort of rapid response stuff because now it's like you do something and because of technology it's all meant to be like instantly now so it's lost the idea of being more laid back I think everyone's quite stressed I think people generally are very very yes. stressed yeah. adults life is more is harder now for a lot of people and uh, I don't know today in life expectations of things I think people should kind of rather, rather be worrying about what other people are doing just concentrate on themselves and their priorities that they have and I think also it's just everything's too fast. Yeah, the pace of life yeah. is too fast. Yeah. It used the moment, to be yeah. much slower yeah. than it is now. And it's weird because I think I'm a really positive person. And I always sort of I take on like change really, really well. Mm -hmm. I actually really like change. But everything is just um, too speedy mm. and in a no, negative I, I way. You. No, I do get you. You know, and you bring up somebody for something, they don't want to really have a chat with you. It's just they just want to make a sale, or everyone's just under this terrible pressure now to, to earn money, get money, because they've got to support their children. Mm. Everything's become three times more expensive than it ever was. So, whereas when we were young, we didn't have iPhones and all this technology stuff, did we, that our no. parents had to pay for? So, the pressure now is on adults, they both have to work male and female have to work so um, 
you normally, well, traditionally, I had my mum at home. So it was lovely to come home to see your yeah. mum. But now you've got all these children coming home to empty houses and mm-hmm. keys under buckets or... Latchkey mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Latchkey mm-hmm. kids. Mm-hmm. That's a bit like my children. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well, they weren't really <laughs> <laughs> But it, it's a little bit like that, so that's a negative. Oh. I'm trying to think of something positive to balance it now. Clouds. Oh. Well, they've always there been around. That's not a change. We're going to unguarded territory. Change of modern life. Not a change of modern life. Have they changed since when you were young? I well, I'm changing the subject now. But as I've got older, I feel I'm more appreciative of things. And so, like nature. Yes. I would actually have a tree now. <laughs> you would. I, yes. Have a tree. I would. Really? Yes. How do you do that? I just got that. Well, why do you do that? <laughs> because. <laughs> Because I just look at the beauty of things, especially some of those boss blossom trees. And last year or the year before. But why would you hug it? It's not the Because it's nature. Because I know it hasn't got bees, but I just think well, it's, a, it's appreciativeness of nature. So it's what you well, so it's what you get out of it. Yes. You know it can't be it. Can't yes, you? of course I do. <laughs> you can't talk to me. Really, but I do really look at things and kind of really value things much more than I used to. I will smash your face into a car windshield and then take your mother, Dorothy Mantooth, out for a nice seafood dinner and never call her again. Sport and exercise. Oh, do, my you, favorite subject. Do, you, do you two get by your sport and exercise or do you play any sports? I do, well, I don't play any sports. Uh, Amanda, do you play any sports? Um, do I play any sports? I used to play a lot of sports. Name, name your favourite. What's your favourite sport that you used to play? Tennis. Right. And uh, what else? Uh, play, play. What does he do? Play. That's so you mean team sport? Interact with like football and or like volleyball or something like that, or even the cross. We used to play the cro- I used to play the cross at school and thought it was quite good. Okay, mm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I don't know that. <laughs> no, I mean, learn something about the hostess. Mm. <laughs> Host- hostess. <laughs> about sport well it's absolutely critical isn't it mm-hmm. really I think as you get older it becomes critical and I don't you get, think it's you so get critical more involved either. with sports like all the sports on the telly that you sort of get involved in even the Olympics and that yeah, happens I yeah I enjoy watching sports oh. yeah I never really watch it I just do it <laughs> I'm not that interested in watching you do feel it, very interactive you do feel very interactive and feel sort of good and having done oh. it. like if you've been for a run like a morning, really like a morning run at 6 a.m. and then you get home like, oh god, so oh. I did that. I'm addicted. I am steam. addicted yeah, today. I've decided. Do you know what I've done today? I've what? had to tell you this. You won't believe it. Monday I did two and a half hours solid in the gym. Tuesday I did three hours solid in the gym. Wednesday <laughs> we did two and a half hours, and today I've done two hours. Isn't that long? Mm. It's how it makes you feel, you see. Yeah. You get into it and then it is actually completely addictive. Great fun. Mm. How do you get by your exercise? Well, I go to kettlebells on a Monday. Right. And I go to Zimba on a Tuesday and a Wednesday. And I go to body conditioning on a Friday. And I'm thinking, there won't be this week, that Sunday does dance jam <laughs> or the bar. <laughs> Like the, the little pole. You mean the pole, pole dance? No, no, it's like PAs and all the rest of it. Ballet. Oh. But it's not, I'm, I don't think we're dancing around. I think it's the bar. So you've always been a ballerina? Oh, yes, in my dreams, yeah. <laughs> I've got this great fun teacher called Vicky at our gym, and she just makes me laugh. She's brilliant. She walks around, you know, going, mm. Come on, stop moaning! Mm. <laughs> And she just like, slaps your bum and goes, that's looking good, and goes, oh, we need your tush, we need your tush. She's just a great sort of great fun mm-hmm. sort of person. And um, it's so important, the teacher. Definitely. I think, like yeah. you were saying, your dance I love teacher. Johnny. So I love you love always John. got about him. I do. Very interesting. About him. And I've got a personal trainer at the moment who's absolutely brilliant for me. And he is so into the subject of sports and nutrition, activity. Um, gym technique, so today I've been doing all my lifting bars, mm. I've learned all the weight room stuff. And it's just lovely to be mm. with somebody who's so, so, he's so enthusiastic, you know, he's so, he's got it all planned out what we're going to do, and, and in the end, you know, we've covered so much by the end of the hour. But it's made you feel, feel good, it's the endorphins, it, yeah. it releases, is why you do it, mm-hmm. actually, because mm-hmm. it becomes, I wonder if it's the same with cycling. 
come it's up very, with it. Um, it's very fast. I, I got a shock. You're okay. really working at a high, high, high heart rate. Yeah. Meanwhile, the shirtless man <laughs> jogging wearing a horse mask. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Obviously, wanting to give a little bit of attention. <laughs> we are obliging him. We are obliging him. Yes, but I yeah, also I have to tell you, it's cold out here. I'm wearing all of this stuff, and I'm so through, and I'm cold. This guy, shirtless, I, I don't even know. We always wonder what the future is going to be like in, say, 30, 40, or even 50 years' time. Uh, and this is from an academic study, which I found up online. Um, and basically, what it says is what the world will be like in 75 years' time. Androgyny will rule, and we won't even need a man or a woman in your life. You'll just need the egg or the sperm, and you will be able to have um, any coupling that you want, or not. So, what do you think of that? Ooh! Awful. Awful. Was he... Sorry, just have to ask a question, host. Sure, what sure. And is androgyny... Androgyny. Is that... The, is that, by definition, no need for humans? Mm, sort or, of, sort or, of. What does that actually mean? Um, it's a combination of um, masculine and feminine characteristics, so sexual Asexual. ambiguity uh, may, be found in, may be found in something like fashion or gender and identity, sexual identity or uh, sexual lifestyle, stuff like that. So that oh. means, so that question... So you won't even, so basically what they're saying is, don't you... Actually, I think Cybermen, what will end up being? Oh, really? Yeah. Honest to God. You're talking about that. Cybermen? <laughs> they don't have any feelings. You didn't watch too much, do well, they? <laughs> that is almost scientific. But you, what you're saying is... That now, what I'm saying is, you don't need to have a man or a woman. Yeah. You wouldn't need to have to sex. Yourself. You wouldn't need to have sex to make a baby. You'd need just the egg or the sperm. Yes. Yeah. And you could have any coupling you want or not. You could have any gender. You just choose it. Yeah. So you could say, well, we're down on the girls this yeah. year. We're a bit we'll low on, a little we're top up on the girls. We're a bit sick of boys. We're, yeah, we've had two not, boys. And so we're going to have, 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 have a girl, please, nurse. Yeah, sure. Oh, so they might find, for example, because this is effectively, there's been a whole massive change in, I've read a lot about male perception of themselves. Exactly. Did you know there's been this massive change? Where it always used to be the man, didn't it, earning the money? Yeah, and providing the, yeah, and the women would just and the women would just sort of stay at home and exactly. clean the house and stuff. But in in obviously, as we all know, it's changed enormously. But in fact, what's happened now is gone so far yeah. that men have lost. What are women doing? Women can get the vote. Well, women, well, well, women, women can get the vote now. They can work and everything. So, so men have lost lot. their identity and they don't know what their role in society is anymore. Well, yeah. There's a whole research on this mm -hmm. stuff now that um, I've read a lot about it. That men are very, very depressed when they hit about the age of 40, because at 40, you know, they've worked, they've got married, they've had the children, they've got this role, and then the wife. Then they don't know what working, to do. They don't know what to do with it. And it's almost like sometimes their wife will be earning more money than yeah. they are. Yeah. Or, so or for like all of a sudden. And you're meant to be the one providing. Exactly. So the idea behind it now is they don't quite know what they're what their point of them themselves is, then they become quite depressed because they feel they haven't got a true identity. Mm -hmm. Whereas with us women, you know, we've had to you now do everything. I know. I'm not sure about that, really. I'm not sure it's good for children. Meanwhile... <laughs> Aha! A short crust pastry filled with some form of seasoned meat. I therefore deduce that this is a pork pie. Incredible, Paul. How did you do that? Elementary, my dear Barry. Oh, it's a muffin. And that is it for this week. Lots of interesting discussions being made. And if you have any questions for me or would like to come on the show, you can just contact me by my website at this very address. I have to say a massive thank you to my guests tonight, Jane and Amanda. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Please come back again soon. Come and have another chat. I think it'll be really interesting. Um, so I'll be back next week talking about various subjects in the big world for different. Until then, goodbye. Bye. Don't move! Don't move! What? There's one thing more dangerous than attacked by a cheetah, and that is attacking a cheetah. You do not know what will happen to you. Just stay still. I'm not putting up with this. I'm not standing here and getting eaten alive. Idiot! Come on, then. Come and fight. Ah. No, Ace! Stay still! Will you f***ing 
don't stay still, you idiots. I don't know how many times I've got to tell you not to move. You move. You move. Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful.